In today's video, I'm filming, sorry if I'm wearing the same thing, I was just in a video making mood today. I have so many ideas for a video, and back to school is like, I go back to school this Monday, today is Friday, so I'm trying to just like crank these videos out for you guys. Um, so yeah, so today's video is going to be how to decorate your notebooks. Um, these are just some ideas that I have. Um, I just have some regular like spiral notebooks. And then I have these boring old plain, oops, they're upside down, plain um, notebooks right here. Composition books actually. So enough blabbing on. Um, and also another thing I wanted to put in, um, the things I'll show you what the things you'll need for each notebook in the video as I'm doing the notebook. So uh, yeah, enough blabbing on and let's get on with the video. So what I'm doing here, you're going to need, for the first book actually, you're going to need a notebook, any color. You will also need a sharpie or a permanent marker, a ruler, and some duct tape. Um, you can use washi tape, you can use any kind of decorated tape that you can get from your store or wherever. So now what I'm doing, I'm just taking out any um, paper um, that the book comes with. Um, I just got this book from, this notebook from Walmart for 97 cents. It was really cheap. Um, it's an imita imitation of the five star notebooks, but instead of having to pay so much money for them, um, like they're like $3, you can just get this one for 97 cents and save some money. And these, I love these notebooks because they last me all year and they come in many different colors. So here's just a regular notebook. And now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to find the middle of the book with my ruler. And then um, I'm just trying to see to where it lined up so I couldn't, where I want to write my word. So I'm just going to take my permanent marker or sharpie, whatever you're going to use. Make sure it can write on a um, surface that is uh, um, like a metallic key, vinyl type. So what I'm doing, I'm just writing down the word math because that's the book, that's what I'm going to use this notebook for. And I'm using the ruler to um, help me um, write my words straight because I have a problem with um, writing crookedly without a ruler or lines. So that's what I'm just using the ruler for. If you have problems with like when you write and it goes like downwards or upwards, it doesn't stay in a straight line, I recommend you use a ruler. And as you can see I messed up, but I'm going to go back in later and um, I'm going to fix it. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking my um, permanent marker again and I'm just going to draw some two lines. Underneath the word, you can do whatever you want, make it your own. I just decided to do two lines, and um, you can do a box, you can do whatever you want, but I just decided to do, do this. So now I'm taking my duct tape. Um, I got this from, the duct tape from Walmart. I think it's washi tape. I got it from Walmart. Um, actually, no, it was a gift that they got from Walmart, and um, yeah, I've had this for a long time. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be a good DIY. So what I'm doing is I'm just placing the tape in between the metal part, the spiral part of the notebook, and in the section space where they have the dots. And it's just give it just a little oomph and a little decoration to the book instead of having just a plain book. Sorry, you hear my dog in the background. So now what I'm doing, I'm just folding the flaps over. Um, so, because you don't want those to pop out, you can either cut them or fold them. I just decided to fold them because I'm too lazy to cut it. So now you can see me going back in here with a thin marker, a thin sharpie, um, and just filling in the um, my imperfection where I messed up. Here to tell you the truth, tell you I'm nervous, tell you my story, tell you I'm worth it, tell you my flaws and my faults and my doubts, give you my heart and what's left of it now, tell you my hurt, tell you my pain, tell you the thoughts I keep trapped in my brain, tell you that nothing's the same, tell you I'm nothing much so more just than fix a it up and I'm sorry about the lighting in this, I had to film this later afterwards because I was thickening the uh, letters and just thickening the lines and I just added these two dots and what I'm going to do is I thought this book needed some more into it, it was, kind of, it was looking kind of plain so what I did is I'm adding um, some more tape and I'm adding that on the bottom of the uh, book and right now I'm just trying to find where the ending is and I found it, I'm going to just measure out the end of the book and then I'm going to cut it. I can see him still measuring. Hmm. Sorry about that. 
decision. I'm done with your dissing. Your father then fixing. I tried to be nice, but you just wouldn't listen. I couldn't wait for the next one. And then it is actually cut it took forever. We're just gonna place it down and um you wanna put it at the edge of the book make, don't make sure you wanna make sure that you don't see the pink on the uh, outside of it. So you wanna make it look perfectly straight. And then as I, you can see right there, I just folded it. And then I'm gonna do that all the way around. Then book. And just measuring, measuring. As you can see, I'm trying to make it perfectly straight so where you can't see the outer edge of the notebook. I'm not sure a while. I just got some scissors, you can use scissors, they um, are optional, if you don't have the um, cutter thing like I did, you can just use the scissors, that is alright, it's still going to do the same thing, then I'm just folding it over, and then now uh, this is the finished product, this is what it, um, what my math notebook looks like, um, I might add some more stuff um, throughout the year, but this is just what it's like for me. So for the second notebook, you just need um, another notebook this is, and some scratch paper, um, and that's scratch paper, scrapbook paper, any kind that you want to use. You'll need some permanent markers or sharpies and a white piece of paper. Oh, excuse me, so now what I'm going to do, you see those little um, pattern thingies? What I just did, I'm just going to cut those out. And, um, wait, at first I'm just going to cut the trim line, black line part out. And then once I do that, once I do that, um, I'm just going to, um, start cutting out the prints, as you'll see in the next clip. Okay, so now, um, you see those little, like, white spots? I'm just going to start cutting... Um, every single one of those and you want you don't want to like cut like a square in the paper a rectangle cut the paper in half because you still are going to use the stencil for it to find out this placement and sorry it's kind of looking kind of wonky but yeah so this is just going in faster version to speed up the process putting it, finding it back in, in their spots so we could um, glue it. Oh, I forgot to mention in the beginning that you also need a glue stick. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you just want to find the placement. This notebook took a bit longer than I expected it. But yeah, there's just me just fixing it. Then just putting it in its spots and places and then me trying to match the pieces up. Little um, pieces and like that So now I'm just 
I couldn't could keep going on, but I know that I shouldn't. I shouldn't waste any more time. Shouldn't waste any more lines. When you're drunk off the wine, do you find me crossing your mind? We knew this would happen with time, but I think that we finally figured it out. That we would just never work out. I tried picking you up, you tried pulling me down, but now life without you is what happy is found. And right now I'm just focused on music. Trust you would lose it. Ripped out my heart, you abusing, you use it. Love's not a label on Facebook. Would have gave you everything like girl, wait, look, but you didn't care. I would just stare at my wall and you and everything else that you didn't want to do something, people are still so much and the marker on my hand is from marker getting on me for the first marker. I'm just making sure everything is going down. It doesn't come off or move, I guess, like it can stay. It must stay on. I'm just wiping off the glue that got in the bed. I'm just wiping the pieces that the glue dried off and it won't stick, so that's what I'm doing So now I'm just marking out the way I want to put it. I um scratched out the white like, paper part because it didn't really work out for me. Um, you can use that part, but I just didn't. I'm writing the word science and I did that off camera because I am left handed and when I write I twist the book, put the side. So yeah, this is finished product. And now for the third one, you need a green notebook, a sharpie or permanent marker, some duct tape or washi tape, any kind of decorated tape that you can use, some scissors. That is it. And now I'm just going to start taking off the little pieces of paper and taking out that paper part because you will not need it. It just gets in the way. Mm, sorry about that. It's late and I'm sort of tired. But I will get this video up for you guys. So now I'm just taking off the little pieces of paper that got stuck inside of the spiral. And I'm taking just um um like tie dye type of tape, and <coughs> um I haven't used it, and I I've never used it, so that's why it's like that. It's either my voice. I don't know what's wrong with it. So I'm just measuring the um side, making sure it's straight. There's no bubbles or lumps or anything. I don't want to overlap the spiral part. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting... <sighs> oh, sorry. So I'm just folding that over, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Like the tape broke in the middle of me doing it, but that is okay. And I'm just taking out all these little air bubbles that there was and folding the flap. And now I'm just trying to find the um, little tape part where I was missing. Try to line it up. And then I'm just going to take the scissors again and put it in half and cut it. I started changing my mind throughout this whole entire making of this video. Um, and you also need a index card. You can use any color. You can use white or the neon ones that I use that you see coming up. I also got those from Walmart. They're really cheap. They're like 50 cents. Trying to get this tape off my finger. And I'm just cutting off all the stuff that was overlapping. So now you have that section done. You can leave it like that and then write whatever subject you're going to use it for. You don't have to do the part that I did. But I just decided that it was missing something. So that it needed something. So I'm going to lay. Just in the so now, 
if you're going to treat. I'm just seeing if I should use labels or if I should use index cards or something like that. I decided to use index cards. These are just some um, in regular index cards, but in neon colors. I thought it would be great because the notebooks are neon in person. You can't really tell because the camera doesn't really show how bright they are. But yeah, all the books are neon. Then we're trying to struggle to get these things open. Okay, now I'm just picking, um, the colors I don't want, I'm going to use pink. And you don't want to use the striped side, you want to use the plain side where there's no straps, no nothing. So now I'm just going to use some glue, and I'm just going to glue that down. So just glue, glue, glue. And now I'm just flattening it down, making it straight, making it, putting it in the placement where I want it. And, um, I could see where the, um, like, where it was starting to, like, peel off. So I'm just putting more glue and gluing that down. And then I'm going, you sorry. Just put the cap on the glue so it doesn't dry out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm going to use some washi tape or some duct tape, whatever decorative tape you have. And I'm just putting that around the edges so it wouldn't be as plain because I didn't like how plain it was. So, yeah, I'm just adding a little decorative tape. Trying to find out which one I want to use. So I ended up going with this um, blue and pink. It's a uh, blue and pink triangles. Um, it's just the regular blue background and then it has the triangles. So I'm just adding it to um, my little collection so I could cut it. So right there, I'm just cutting off the paper. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to start measuring where I want the thing to be. And what I'm doing here, I'm just outlining, um, I'm just going to outline the ends of the um, card. You don't have to do the card, um, you can just leave it the way, um, the way it was before with just the stripes. Um, you can do it however you want to because it's just the way that I wanted to do it. Because I felt like it needed more and I didn't like how the edges were just empty. And I actually like how I want it to be crazy because it's for a... Um, subject, it's for um, language arts, and um, language arts is like writing and reading. I don't have a reading class this year, which I'm so happy about. Yay! So I just only have English, language arts, whatever you want to call it. So I did just the ending, and I did that, and now I'm overlapping each and all the pieces. Just just giving the edges some more, um, uh, not festivity, but another word I'm looking for, like decorated touch. So, yeah, and then it's just me still measuring. That's okay. Way so far. Was me struggling? And there's me still cutting tape. So I'm just cutting. So now to finally cut it, I'm just going to um, pick up for it. It's okay, I can just cut that out because I cut it. So then now I'm just overlapping that and putting it on the side. Now you're going to take your Sharpie or permanent marker and you're going to write down what language it is. So mine is language arts, you can put English, whatever you can use for any type. And I thought it was plain so I'm just adding some dots all over to make it more crazy. I wanted this notebook to be crazy and fun because language arts to me is a boring subject. So when I'm feeling bored I can just look at my notebook and it can be like that. 
because I'll, I'll just be like happy because it's so crazy. And this is the finished product. So now for the third notebook and last notebook, you'll need a other notebook, a um, stencil. I just went online and I traced out um, the Texas symbol. And um, you can use any kind of symbol. Mine was Texas history, so I just did Texas. You need white paper and scissors and a sharpie and a glue stick. So now you can see me just tracing out um, all of the little individual Texas symbols. And this took forever to do. Okay. So yeah, you can just see that I'm starting to trace the Texas out with a pencil. And you want to use a pencil because you're going to erase it later. And you can't flip it over because the Texas symbol would be on the wrong side. It won't look like the Texas symbol. So yeah, you can just see that I'm doing that. And I traced this out um, six times. You can trace it out how many ever times you want to. I just did it six times. You can do it four times. You can do it ten times. It really doesn't matter, but, um, yeah. of where I wanted it to be. I'm 
to get all of that and knew that the word history could fit. So then I just took all of that off and you can see I had to turn the camera, put it on my leg. Because when I write, I put the paper to the side so then my hand will like fit, I guess. I don't know. So then I just started writing out each of every word. Every letter, I should say. no idea what went on right here. I just started acting crazy. And then my crime went on to just like change its clarity. And yeah, it just looks crazy. But anyways, it's all good. We messed up the S a little bit, but we just fixed it. And then that is the finished product for history. And again, it was, my class is Texas history. So that's why I did the Texas um, signs. And I live in Texas. So yeah, that's the finished product. I hope you like it. So I got, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, it was a long process making this video. As you can see, the lighting has changed. That is because it is darker outside. And you can tell the lights are a bit yellowy truth, because that's how the tones are in my room. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below with other videos, other video suggestions that you guys want me to do. And um, there is more videos coming in the future. I am going to make more uh, uh, back to school notebook DIY videos. I'm also going to make a DIY divider um, video as well. So look out for that. That is in the making. And um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!